Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to look at the D minor chord and compare it to the D major chord. The D minor chord has a kind of mysterious or sad sound and it uses four strings on the guitar, the D string, the G string, the E string, and the high E string. And you'll play them all at once. I'm strumming them with a the pick. And, um, or you can use your finger. Now, the notes of the chord are D, the open D string, A, which is the second fret of the third string, the note D an octave higher than the open D string, that's on your third fret of the second string, and then the note F, which is the first fret of the high E string. And here's the way it sounds. Now, when you're playing this chord, depending on your hand shape, you might want to bring your thumb down around the neck. It's a little hard to play it, for most people, with your thumb kind of over the neck like this. It's still possible, but not maybe the most comfortable thing in the world. So you want to bring your thumb down a little bit. It can be somewhere in the middle of the back of the guitar neck, and that will make it a little more comfortable for your fingers. Now, the next chord we're going to look at is the D major chord. And if you connected the dots, so to speak, of the chord diagram, or if you can kind of imagine uh, the, the shape of your, your fingers here, when you're looking down at the shape of the D major chord, it's a little bit like a triangle. So that it's always good to think in terms of shapes when you're learning chords that the D minor is kind of like a triangle, sorry, the D major is kind of like a triangle shape. The A major is kind of like a straight line a little bit, especially if you're looking down or it's good um, at, at your own hand. So the D major chord is also strummed with four strings. You have the open D string, the G, the B string, and the E string. And the notes are going to be D, on the open D string, A on the G string, that's the second fret of the third string, the third fret of the second string, which is the note D, and that's also an octave higher than the open D string, and then the last note will be an F sharp, and that's the second fret of the first string, or the high E string. If I play the chords back to back, you'll hear the difference in the quality. Something similar, because they're both D, but also something different in the character of them. So I'll go from the D minor, which has this kind of mysterious or sad quality, for lack of better words, to the D major that's a more cheerful or happy chord, a little bit helpful. So here's the D minor chord. Here's the D major chord. Have fun with that, and I will see you in the next lesson.